No ei ollut kyllä vanhentunut hyvin toi kaveri. Okei. Okay. Who was riding who? Who was riding this poem? Me? No. The writer of the first bird. Not the writer of the last. With the terror of flight and shadows cast, the third eye now open bright the night. This the moment to write. This the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Oh no. The third Her Herra Scratch oli se, mikä kaverit tapaa. Kun alan, alan veikon pois. Okei, okay, on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless existence. A regression to something you had managed to forget, marking you, taking you for a ride, making you crazier. Okay. The station had changed. I was closer now. <laughs> the dark place opening soon. Parliament Tower Plaza. You may not be the only <laughs> oh you out there. Jälkiviisaudella. Tää ei välttämättä ollut kaikista paras idea. Tää on valoa kantoon ja lähdetään menemään. Elikkä toi iso talo. Parliament Tower, our home in New York. Was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. Time loses meaning here. How long have I been trying to escape? Long enough for Alice to think I'm dead. Payphone at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. Hey, Alan. Thank God he picked up. I thought I lost you again. Who are you? Why are you helping me? 
Did you go deeper? To the Oval Lab? Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I... That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Me? Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower? To make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello? No siis ne pystyy manifestoitumaan myöskin ää, ää, Liisan, Liisan muodossa. Se oli itse asiassa ekassa, ekassa pelissä jo tapahtuu. behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? Mene aika Twin Peaks. Mene aika Twin Peaksiksi. Equipment set to go off when the door opens. Okay. Get out! Leave me alone! Alice! Alice! Alice. This is a photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? This is the door to my study, where I wrote my books. Ah! This symbol wasn't here before. Tuohan on kontrollista toi symboli. Rinnakkais todellisuuden. Ja toi Jesse Faden hän avas oven motellissa Alan Veikille. Why Avasico? Alice's video camera. No memory card inside. Se saattoi myöskin olla tietysti herra Scratch. Joka me kyllä voitettiin alamme vaikka American Nightmareissa, mutta kuitenkin. Local point of dark place. Niin, mitä Liisa on tehnyt viime vuodet? 13 vuotta. Se on aika pitkä aika kehitellä erilaisia juttuja. Muistikortti. Part 1. Part 1. What was Alice working on?
When I was younger, photography was everything to me. I moved to New York thinking I'd make it as an artist. And then I met Alan. We had a good thing. We were both dedicated by our creative ambitions. The only difference was that Alan's work made money. He brought me work when he could. I took his promo shots, um, created covers for his books. I'm sure he forced his publisher into it. I was taking photos, just not my photos. And that gnawed at me. Things got complicated sometimes, but that's life, right? We loved each other. Then, Alan hit a block. I brought out a meaner side of him. One I didn't like. I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington. I didn't tell him until we got there. We argued. Things went wrong. I got ball hasty. Penny was just gone. Drowned, allegedly. It's easy for people to think it was my fault. Okay. Hell, I do too sometimes. About six years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. <laughs> then it got violent. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my nightmares caught on film. Oh, okay. Doi me. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. Could be all on Vegas. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit the dark place. Alice. Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? into the writer's room. But there was no one here writing. Ah! 
Mr. Scratch. Okay, let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. <laughs> and after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the Dark Place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when, it, when night falls. But last time... It... This will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I can send him back to the dark place, make all the shit go away. Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is full of holes and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It's like, it's like, it's like a half forgotten dream.
Ne ei ole kahvia aina samaan aikaan. Mr. Wake. Alan. We've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. of it have you ever heard of the cult of the tree creepy bunch in the habit of wearing deer masks performing murder rituals victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author hmm ring any bells the cult yes yes they have the clicker If the cult has the clicker, does that make them Scratch's followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Wake just gave us a lot of information, but this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. The cult. Yes. Yes. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake, and the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? <laughs> okay.
Last time, it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. Not right. Yes. Doesn't make sense. They could be working for scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? Okay, Mr. Wig, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is we all I have. That need that. Be careful with them. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the Cult of the Tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew her weapon. Standing inside the trailer at the outskirts of Watery. Learn more about Clicker. Tämä on ihan hyvä, että tässä on merkattu, että kun tulee uutta tavaraa, niin... Okei... Okay. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. It's all on the page. The clicker, the cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. Bucket in the janitor's break room. Okei, ja mä voin pelata millä jär... missä järjestyksessä nää tar... tarinat millä... Missä, miten millä haluan. Break room on tässä. Switch reality. Aika hauska. Hello. 
welcome to Coffee World. Hello, and welcome to Coffee World, voted Washington's best coffee-themed amusement park. All of our attractions are family-friendly and available to children of all ages, just like our coffee. So, take a sip of our Oh Dear Diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin! Hold on for dear life on the Espresso Express! Soak in some local history what at the Bloody Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. Uh, it's not a haunted. No. <laughs> Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park pig. Amusement park. Like a house. Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously, it's not amusing. Take in amazing views from the slow roaster Ferris wheel. Get <laughs> coming there, but cut it off. Almost see the watery lighthouse trailer park. This is so much fun. And finish off at our beautiful gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks. Welcome to Coffee World. We guarantee you jaw a great time. Right. This is the third time I've requested something be done about the TV in my room. It keeps going on by itself. It's keeping me awake all night. Yes, sir, I'm terribly sorry for that. Uh, we've called a professional electrician. In the meantime, have you tried unplugging the TV for the night? Oh, oh, there's an idea, Einstein. Well, well, why, why don't I just get rid of everything I'm paying for in that room while I'm at it? Sleep on the floor. Go to the toilet in the corner. Hey, I'm not unplugging it. You're fixing it. Of course, sir. Haluaisin vaan päästä eroon tuosta tekstistä ruudulla. So who's in for a bet this year? A hundred bucks says there will be at least one vendor. Varmaan sieltä taisi olla tuo niin mitä mä vaan pistän. That amount of money, you cost it yourself. It won't open. Ana kaviela. We've got a very special guest. You're back with Pat Maine, and we've got a very special guest today on the program. It's artisan cuckoo clock designer Terry Feldman. Terry, how are we today? Hey there, Pat. Doing just fine. I'm a super big fan of the show. What a treat to be on with you today. Oh, the pleasure's all mine, Terry. <laughs> now, I hear you're doing something special for Deerfest. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm crafting a selection of custom basswood cuckoo clocks, but the real special sauce is when it's cuckoo time and you're expecting a bird to pop out for a chirp. Okay. <laughs> out comes a big old deer. Well, that's just neat. 
<laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. Real neat. That's gonna have the tourists tickled pink. And I hear you're selling these at the Sunday market. So make sure to say hello to Wendy Davis from our sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky, while you're there. All right, <laughs> Terry? You Mind up, Jeff. Mind up, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, still here. I'm just... Jeez, Pat, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this. I, I, I thought you heard Wendy's dead. Oh, boy. That's, that's a strange joke you're playing there, Terry. No, it's... I, I, I'm sorry, Pat. You... You know all that FBI business when it was one of those bodies they found. Well, that's just not possible, Terry. Wendy stopped by this morning with three flavors of beef jerky. She brought me the, uh, the, the smoked hickory and the teriyaki and, and then, what was that other one? I'm, I'm real sorry, Pat. What was that other one? She was just talking about this just hours ago. Smoke hickory, teriyaki, and... Hickory teriyaki. Hickory teriyaki. Thanks, Tapio. It's, it's just a bit of a strange joke, Terry. Did Yako and Elmo put you up to this? Pat. Well, somebody's having a laugh over this little prank, I'm sure. Terry, thank you so much for your time. Can't wait to see those deer fest cuckoos at the market. Wendy will be there with her beef jerky as always, and and we'll be back after this. Hmm. say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea? Going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true. Or else this guy can't write for shit. <laughs> The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, real funny. The page placed me in a trailer somewhere in Watery. Suomi Hall. I should ask around. Niin, tää oli lokalkeilla. Tää oli se suomalaisten siitolaisten perustuva paikkakunta. Ai, ei ole vielä kartta. Valhalla. Hello. Do you have a second? Pushing home. Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Uh, Thor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. Ilmo Koskela owns it. Owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You've seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. Hmm. Hi. Oh, do you
Okay then. Catch you soon. I wonder if I'm the first FBI agent to ever get shushed. Bateri, eli suomennetaanko se niin, että se on vesilahti? Investigation, downtown. Mitäs tässä pitää tehdä? 
Niin, traileri parkkiin piti mennä. Trailer park pois. Uh, uh, sauna on tuolla. Sitten sun pakko katsoa, trailer parkki on tuolla. Kaverit on tossa sillalla. Tai se on poikki se silta tai jotain. Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, lakes. Seem enjoying the sauna. You bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. I've read that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. <laughs> Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. Uh -huh. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Did you think that'd work? You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. Hey, Seva. A sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. Tää vähän tulvinut tää paikka. Saunassa luotee ja hetärkätteä. Ja paristoja. Ja kahvinkeinin tietysti, koska suomalaiset ei pärjää ilman kahvia. Ja kaljaa. Huh. Hot. Tää on ihan kunnon sauna. Saga! Over here! Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery, Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. Are you familiar with the cold of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it, hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry, they've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Hmm. Is the horror story messing with their memories? So what is Coffee World? <laughs> you mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights motorcycle. Uh, Kalevala Knights. <laughs> We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for DFest. Uh-huh. So... Your commercials? They're more than commercials, Saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. Fuck the government. Uh, <laughs> Yako here mm, really comes mm. alive in front of the camera. Really. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm just there for the free beer. I'm not sure team. what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and uh, check them all out. I should make sure I've gotten everything out of profiling.
Wake says a story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. Saga. Vähän se vähän jäätävää, jos oma lapsi on kuollut jossain toisessa toden todennisuudessa. Trailer Park is a good place to look for a trailer. Keep it simple, Saga. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Mm -hmm. yeah, get down. The shadow of the forest is creeping close. Better see it. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilmo. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. <laughs> 